Stacey, what made you become a PCSO? Um, so I've always wanted to help people um, and it just gives me, it's really good job satisfaction when you do get to help someone, even with just like the smallest thing. Um, and I think that that really, and I like it, I like talking to people, um, meeting new people, so it's a good yeah. job to do it. So it lived up to your expectations? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Alright. Hi Barry, um, thanks for being here today. Um, can you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about what you do and why you're here? Yeah, so my name's Barry Wood. Um, I'm a community defibrillation trainer for Yorkshire Ambulance Service, which is um, involves recruiting, uh, training, introducing them to um, all the medical aspects of uh, seeing patients, but not just medical, CPR as well, life support. Um, but we, we support them right through, right through recruitment, uh, compliance as well. But we also um, work f as part of the community engagement side of the trust as well. So it's just getting that awareness out to the, to the public of the importance of um, recognising somebody who isn't well, either if they've uh, got sepsis, um, uh, you know, like a systemic infection, or if they're indeed in cardiac arrest. Um, the importance of early recognition, early CPR and early defibrillation. So that's why we like to, to be at events like this, just to, so we can speak to the public, um, you know, just to, to get that awareness of how important it is to recognise if somebody's conscious but seriously ill or unconscious and seriously ill as well. So, yeah. How many of these a year do you do? Well, trust-wide, trust we're, in, we're involved with um, events like this all over Yorkshire. Um, so it's difficult to say how many we, we do. We try, we try and get involved with uh, local schools, local councils, um, all across Yorkshire. Um, but Yorkshire Ambulance Service, as far as WIP is concerned, have been involved with this every time we've done it. Um, and now I'm in post, I would like to be involved every year after as well. Oh, that's, that's good yeah. news. Yeah. I'm certainly very welcome to be here and to yeah, it's en great. engage with the public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and the vehicle behind, what, what does that do? So this, this vehicle is actually not operational, so this is our community engagement vehicle. So it's not set out how an operational ambulance would be, there's no uh, monitor on there or anything like that or specific equipment that's needed on a day-to-day -day operational vehicle. Um, but it still just gives me the opportunity to show the public what kind of equipment we do have and where they're, where they're kept. I've got an AED on board so I can um, show people how an AED works. Uh, I've got um, resuscitation mannequins as well, um, just to give examples, but also how to attach defibrillation pads and to um, go through the one, two, three approach of whether the patient needs um, to be administered a shock or not. Oh, so it works, it's a really good vehicle, it works really well, you know, yeah. to engage with the public. Yeah, yeah. So. And, um the public are they receptive to coming to see you and chatting to you? Yeah, I've had qu quite a lot of people already. Um, so I've got two aims today. One is to sort of well promote the trust. Uh, so I could say three aims really. Uh, the other is to you know better that awareness of early early recognition of a poorly patient, early CPI and early defibrillation. Um, but also we're looking to um, recruit community first responders in the area as well. Right. Um, so I've got sort of leaflets and things to give out and hopefully talk about what they do yeah. in the community because yeah. they're valuable because of the strain on the uh, uh, the service as far as operational is concerned you know if, if, if they're busy queuing at hospital things like that the importance of community first responders as volunteers is, is um, sort of more so than it ever has been mm. yeah. so um, I'm looking to promote that over the weekend as well. Yeah. Yeah, well I wish you a very successful weekend and thanks again for being here. Thanks mate, thank you. Hello, uh, Hi. been here representing the Yorkshire Police. Would you like to introduce yourself? My name's Daisy, um, I'm a PCSO in Whitby. 
for North Yorkshire Police. Okay. Um, why are you here today? Um, we're here to engage with the community. We've got some leaflets um, about fraud and other things that are quite important at the minute. Um, and we're just just talking to people, really. Yeah. And you had a good reception? Yeah. Yeah. It's been good so far. Yeah. 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 Good. And what does the police hope to get out of an event like this? It helps us um, represent ourselves more, um, and, and I think engaging with the community is a big part of what we do really so that's a big big good thing for us um but yeah just talking to people getting to know them yeah good reception yeah okay. really good yeah. and uh, would you come again yeah definitely okay. yeah <laughs> so any messages you'd like to give out to the, to the public at large through the, the video um just Come keep along safe. and yeah, just keep safe. And yeah. if you see us, just talk to us because yeah, we're yeah. always we're always up for it. Yeah, well, that's the theme of the day: is keeping people safe. Yeah, yeah. So, well, thanks very much for being here. No worries. Really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thanks for being here today. Can you tell us this bit about yourself and how you got into being a Coast Guard? Yeah, so I'm, I'm Claire. I'm part of the Whitby Coast Guard. Um, it's about five and a half years ago. I was uh, living in town and I just fancied something a bit different to do, give back to the community, learn some new skills and some uh, things you don't get to do in normal life. Um, went along and uh, joined up and here I am today. Um, what's the purpose of you being here today? The purpose of us being here today is just to engage with the, the general public, hopefully share a few messages about uh, coastal safety and what we do and how people can look after themselves on a, on a day at the, the coast and uh, to support and work alongside the rest of our emergency services. And how do you work alongside the RNLI? Um, so we do slightly different jobs but we're all there for the same reason for people on the coast um, and a lot of the jobs that, that we do get um, we work with them so if somebody gets cut off by the tide for example uh, we can provide eyes from a coastal perspective and locate them so that the lifeboat get in easier um, we can actually go into the water and wade round and help the life lifeboat get them in um, we have some fairly comprehensive casualty care skills and equipment now so we can liaise together and work, work together on that one um, and we just provide different access routes so whereas the boat comes in via water we can come down via the cliff top um, if there's a lot of people to get off and, and things like that so we, we mesh together sort of really well and fill in each other's gaps in uh, skills really. That's great and the equipment you've got on <laughs> display here today could you just run us through it tell us what it is? Yep so this is what we call a water rescue uh, life jacket so if somebody is in trouble in the water but is it within kind of grabbable distance so maybe a hundred meters a short swim we can pop one of these on really really quickly onto one of our team clip onto a line get out to somebody um, it's full of foam so it's naturally very very buoyant but it's also got an inflatable jacket in there as well so we can deploy that to help us get in um, it's also a great bit of ppe for our, our team so if we we're trying to wade round or something like that it's a, a solid uh, solid bit of ppe um, we've got a simple throw bag here so again if somebody is in trouble in the water uh, one of the first things we should be going for is trying to get them from the shore without putting anybody in danger so we can throw that in hopefully get them and reel them back in um, so they're a really really effective piece of equipment just here we've got one of our newest acquisitions in the Coast Guard um, that's an automatic external defibrillator an AED or defib um, We've just rolled these around in the coast, so every single markup Coast Guard vehicle that you see on the coast in the UK will now carry an AED. So we've got that for, for jobs and for generally helping the, the public. Um, so cracking bit of kit that. And just here we've got our main casualty care bag. So if we go into a first aid incident, an injury, illness, that's what we'll we'll carry so we've got all sorts of bits of kit in there we've got bandages dressings splints all sorts of stuff good old casualty helmet there so if they're underneath a cliff and there's a risk of them getting uh, any rocks or anything falling down we've got that for them um, so yeah we've got most of our equipment here obviously in the vehicles we've got our full rope kit but that's a bit heavy to to bring out on a day like today 
Well, thanks very much, Claire. It's uh, very, very interesting. And, um, how's today gone so far? Really, really well. There's been a lot of uh, nice people walking around, coming over for a bit of ch bit of a chat. We've got some uh, great kiddies activity books there, which seem to be really, really popular uh, with the families. Uh, so it's good to see people taking them. Um, got some lovely little wristbands there for people that've got kiddos on the on the beach to keep them safe. Put your number on them, and uh, you can get in contact. So it's it's been really nice to see the general public coming over and just engaging with what yeah. we do. Well, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for your support. Um, <laughs> Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much. I'm Thank sure you. we'll see you next time. Thank you. Hi Ian, uh, well thanks for agreeing to talk to us today. That's alright. Um, first of all, what, what's your function, your job within the r and &I? So I'm just deckhand at the minute uh, for both boats, so I do the ILB and the ALB. And what's the difference between those two? Uh, the ILB is close water inshore stuff, along the coastline, the ALB will go out for quite a few miles on bigger jobs. Yeah, and how long, you've been a volunteer obviously, how long have you been doing the volunteer? Seven years this year. Seven years, okay. And what have you got along today? Uh, today I've got me ALB pants on, my wellies and an ALB jacket. Right, uh, and what's that do? So in the jacket here we've got one lot of buoyancy, if it drops in the water, if I fall in the water it will self inflate, if it doesn't I can pull on a toggle it will inflate, we've also got an e purple one side and a night and day flare at the other side. Yeah. The e perp, can you tell us what that is? E perp, about? yeah, we'll not set it off but uh, show you it and give you an idea. So just in this pocket here there's an e perp, so this is personal locator be beacon. So this will go off and it will transmit a, a message up to a satellite which will go to the Coast Guard to let them know where I am floating around in the sea. Right, so it's an unfortunate incident, you're in the water, you can get help by. Is that automatic? No, 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 we take it up, we undo the aerial. Press a button, point it upwards, lay back, it sends a signal, yeah. and with a bit of luck, we'll get found. Yeah, and the other side's a flare? And the other side is a double flare, so there's a night flare and a day flare. Right, so you, you're doubly covered then, if yeah. something goes wrong. And how long would it take before something happens to come and rescue you when that, you set that off? Well, I'm hoping within about 10 minutes, to oh, be fair with you. That's incredible, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, what do you think of the ALB as a boat? Our boat, uh, we've still got the Trent class, I think it's a fantastic bit, 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 bit of kit. Does everything it needs to do. Yeah. At the end of the day, we get to play on expensive boats for free. <laughs> Sounds fun. Yeah. And the ILB is that uh, damaging on your knees? I'm getting a bit too old for the ILB now, <laughs> so it won't be much longer before I'll be coming off that one. I think. <laughs> That's good. Well, thanks very much, Ian. Really You're welcome. Appreciate that. That's a uh, good explanation of what you're wearing and why you're wearing it. Thank, Thank you very much. Hello Paul, well, Hello there. thanks for coming down here today and, and bringing the, the main pump down and also the Land Rover behind us. Uh, can no you problem. tell us what this is for please? So this is our swift water rescue capability that we've got here in Whitby. There's a number of different swift water teams that are dotted around the county uh, and this one here is based in Whitby. Uh, and its main function really is for things like floodings, inland flooding. Uh, so we were up in Reef during their big floods a few years ago um, and that's its main capability. So we are trained to a level three swift water rescue um, which basically means that we go off to Tees Barrage every now and again and throw ourselves in the water yeah. and do a bit of swimming and uh, right. and stuff like that so that's 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 main capability yeah oh, excellent um, when you're here today and appreciate you being here what's the main reason for coming so obviously there's quite a few agencies here today and um, you know we work very well together in Whitby I think as a multi-agency uh, place to be um, and they are in live obviously doing their uh, campaign with regards to water safety and stuff like that and so obviously you know it ties in nicely with our swift water rescue thing as well uh, so we're down here to help promote that as well this water general water safety and also to do a little bit of uh, community fire safety as well so and reaction from the public 
It's been great, yeah, people are really engaging with us, they're coming and having a good crawl around on the uh, on the pump and asking what this is all about yeah. as well, but yeah. I've, I've noticed the nature of the stalls, you know, they're all doing really well, because yeah, some good yeah. business. It's like. been a good day today, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks very much indeed, and Not thanks for coming, and, and thanks for supporting us. Not at all, my pleasure. Thank you.